What is going on guys? Welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. Here we're talking everything Agile, Agile tools. Today we are talking again about Jira and we're going to talk about uh, Jira user groups. I'm going to show you how to set one app, how to add people to it, and I'll explain you why they might be important. Before we do, I want to tell you three things. If you guys will learn Jira in about one day, go to the link in the description. There's my course. You can get it and learn Jira in about eight hours. Second thing is if you guys are stuck and you want to need some consulting help, but you don't want to commit to a long term, you just want an hourly consulting, go to the first comment in this video, click on the calendar link and you can book yourself in my or my team's calendar and we're happy to help you. The last thing is if you are committed, you want to help with Jira, with maintenance, with Agile transformation, please go to defineagile.com. There's a contact form, please fill it in and we're happy to talk to you and help your business. Now, Jira user groups. Um, this is a good way to group users, which is Jira user group. And it helps you because you don't have to add user one by one to certain things. Let's say you want to give access project to a bunch of users. Let's say you have external, um, external contractor that works for you. And you want to make sure that they all are grouped in one group. And then when you give access to one, you give access to everybody. This is a good use case to create a Jira user group. And then you can set permissions on this group as well. So, how do we do it? Um, I'm going to I'm going to show you right now. But before I do, one caveat: you guys need to have admin access, super admin access. If you, if you don't have that access, you will not be able to see what I see. So please do not write in comments. I'm not totally. I cannot see what you see. It means you don't have permissions. That's what I will reply to you. Now you have your admin access. We are all good. We click on the wheel on the settings in the top right corner. We click on user management. Here we are, I can see all the list of all my users and then I click on groups. When I click on groups, I see that I have a bunch of groups already and I want to create a new group. Jira video test group. And then I put descriptions so you understand what it is. This is for Jira video, so I know. Then you click on check mark, add the members. You click create group. And then you can add, let's say, me and client and architect. And then you click on add. Here we go. So we have a group, Jira video test group with three people in it. So now we are a group. Um, you can edit group access to see what products they have access to. Some, uh, they have products like Confluence and Jira Service Management and Jira, if you have a bunch of them, you might uh, want to limit this group to certain ones because you um, you don't, sometimes they don't need access to Confluence, let's say. So let's click on edit group access. So here we are, if you want to add group to any of this, I want to add them to Jira software, for example, I click add group, I select my Jira video test group and I just add them to Jira software. I do not add them to my Confluence for refresh. We have our Jira video test group in here, but they don't have access to service management. They don't ha not have access to Confluence. Then you also have administration access, which is, are the administrators of Jira or Confluence? Let's say not. Um, guest access. So guests are not counted towards licenses, so you don't pay for them, but they have lots of restrictions as well. Uh, you can read about it here, what you need to know, it explains it very well. So I'm not gonna go into the details in here. So now we create our group, which means that if we go to our project and let's add our group. So you can click on project settings, you can click on people, so you can add a group, you can say add people. And you can say Jira video test group. You can choose a role. Let's say one of them to be developers, click add. Here we go. So we just added three people at the same time just by adding the group. Now, the other important thing will be permissions. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on permissions, but just to give you a sneak peek, you can click on permissions. You can go and edit permissions. 
This is permissions of your project. Um, you see people can miss a project, browse project, manage project. So there's all of them, any logged in user. But if you want your group to be able to do certain things and not other things, you can um, click on update. You can find a group and you can add your group to certain things. I'll do a separate video on this, but essentially this allows you to be able to assign permissions instead of one by one to a whole group of people, uh, which make it that much easier to manage. And then if you wanna remove the whole group, you just be able to remove the group instead of, um, you can remove the access from Jira to the group just like by going to the, to the administrator and then say, you don't have access to Jira anymore. And that's it. Instead of just looking for, I don't know, people one by one and trying to do it, especially if that external contractor. Hope it makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. So there are definitely more layers to that and I'll be unpacking it, but I want to hear if you have any questions. So put them in the comments down below. And if it brought you value, please like and subscribe because I'm sharing those videos with you every week. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next one. Bye-bye.